<sighs> what the? All right. I just woke up at three and I've been sleeping for about an hour in one of these rest areas. Oh God, this place is the same aesthetic as a Denny's parking lot. But at least I'm inside in the car instead of outside, half naked, not knowing where my wallet went. Oh, well, let's go. <laughs> check, check, nobody wants to see me. Oh my god, why is that speaker at plus 12? Alright, well, we got three snipers at our. Hippies! Yeah! Line con, line con, line con, line con, con, line 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 con. Hey! Oh, you know we were so sad. You weren't at BOFC. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, I messed up the name here, so I guess I'm Cillian Ross now. All right, let's play the what's going on at the furry convention game. Somebody over here making an EDM mashup of fursuiters using a really expensive camera. You've got somebody with a pogo stick. Nick Wilde cosplay, which is part of the usual. An actual furry animal. Non-congoers who have no idea what's going on. And sparkle dogs. Sparkle dogs everywhere. There are a lot more kids with suits than I remember from last time. Stop. Just stop ruining the magic. Ruining the magic. That is the biggest mohawk I've ever seen on a fursuiter. What's on the menu? Legs. Sir, I'm more than good a pair of legs. Thank you. Jeez, my eyes are up here. Nurse, nurse, are you aware there's a breakout of pathowogen here? Pathowogen? What? Let's see. See, the top half is fine there. That's good, but. That bottom half you need to lose. Mom, Dad, aren't you proud of me? <laughs> What's college tuition? You're just an expensive surgle. The Tide Pod <laughs> would be the easy- oh, Soren, will you shut I'm the sorry. fuck up? It doesn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> it's my head's too big. A wool? A wool? A wool? What the hell are you hiding in the court? I live with perpetual fear. Got you a surprise. I enjoyed my breakfast. <laughs> Do I have to eat it? You know what's better than a bacon maple bar? Thanos donut. Thanos donut. Yes. Voodoo donuts are protogen proof. Uh -huh. Does anybody have a napkin so I can watch this off? That is the most sparkled out service dog I've ever seen. Why does that guy have cups on his ears? You two are absolutely adorable. It's too much green. Oh look, it's a Dutch angel dragon. It's a Dutch AD. It's a dad. It's two dads. Two, da three dads. Never mind. now that's the biggest mohawk I've seen on a fursuit. Mr. Cameraman Sibian Ross. What do you want? I don't know, what do you want? You're the I don't know. You're the one Oh god! Oh no! And we are here in the wild. We see a wild, snakiest bananas and the lizard thickiest maximus. This is amazing. Yeah, it's the first time you've seen yourself in the mirror and it's not you. <laughs> Yeah, basically. You wanna go outside? Uh, sure. Alright, let's go. Oh. 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 It's another one. Another one. Oh my god. Another you one. Know, you know, <laughs> but why? I feel bad.
Oh no, it's fine. No, you do not besmirch my fursuit with dabbing! He's Thick Boy 1 and Thick Boy 2. How's the thickies doing? I don't know! I don't know, why am I filming this? Why am I filming this? These are the questions, the days of our lives. Some, this is so far, right? What the hell is this place? It was so cute, dog. Hi. What's up, Budget Zool? Watch your back and how you sleep. Oh, I'm so scared. Like you can run and catch me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. No problem. Perfect. Awesome. So I initially wasn't going to film anything for Ferlandia 2019 because this was supposed to be the con that I would just enjoy and not really have to deal with any of the baggage of being a YouTuber at. But after a couple people pressed me to make one, I decided to do so. And I hope the video was fun, I had a fun time making it, and I hope you had a fun time watching it. What I'd like to bring attention to now is actually the importance of smaller conventions. Now, I've only been to three small conventions, that being Vancouver 2018, Ferlandia 2018, and Ferlandia 2019. And the reason I want to bring this up is because smaller conventions play a key role in introducing new people into conventions. If you notice in the video, there are actually a lot of younger attendees that attended this con and are seen in this video than in some of my other larger conventions. And that's because the smaller scale makes the convention just less noisy and less chaotic than a lot of larger conventions and that can be better for anxiety, better for parents to keep track of their kids, and just overall a much calmer vibe. And I like that. I think it's really good for people who may have a bit of a social crutch with large crowds. And smaller conventions play a key role in that stepping stone to bringing new people into the fandom and bringing new people into going to conventions because it's a way for people to test the water. And I like to thank smaller conventions and volunteers and chairs and board of directors who host these smaller conventions because you guys play a super key role in bringing new people into the fandom and new people to conventions and for that I thank you. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I will see you next time on Why Did I Film This when I go to Anthropon 2019.